Well, hello everyone. Um, I have a uh, accessory this time, which I'd like to uh, to show you. Um, if any of you have uh, bought the uh, display sanding uh, pen uh, from me, um, first of all, thanks a lot, and I hope you've. Um, kind of had a, a great experience with uh, with this device as i have um it's uh, it's quite revolutionary i think when you when you can actually grind um with an electric pen and the amount of control you get is is, is amazing um i do do come back to me with any sort of feedback on uh, you know what you think of uh, of the device now a lot of you uh, are also buying the uh, chuck adapter uh, which uh, then allows you to use uh, a wider variety of um, of heads. Some are absolutely for for grinding, um, but also some also for sanding. Um, what display kind of didn't have until until today uh, was um, some kind of um, you know sanding attachment. Um, lots of uh, uh, grinding heads, but nothing, nothing for sanding. Well, that's actually changed. Um, I've got something I'd like to uh, to show you. Um, and display have come up with um, two lots of um, uh, sanding uh, heads, uh, which are designed specifically uh, for this uh, the sanding pen. Let me uh, get them out of the box, and I'll show you exactly um, what uh, what these actually look like. Um, so these are the uh, small ones, and uh, this is the larger ones. So what I mean by that is the the size of the of the sanding head, which you'll see in a second. So these are the large ones. As you can see, they have a large sanding area. What they do is they give you a chuck adapter that matches the size of this uh, sanding head. And likewise, there's a smaller version uh, of these with also a, a chuck adapter, which goes uh, for, for this particular size of, of sandpaper. Now in the box, uh, you get uh, four different grits and the box tells you um, that it's four, six, eight and 1,000 um, uh, grit uh, papers. Now the idea is that uh, let me get the, the Allen key out. Let me take this uh, this grinding head out of uh, this uh, this one, and I'll show you exactly how how these work. Oh, that's still tight. Let's try that again. In fact, let me just unscrew the other side as well. There, there you go. That's better. Okay, let's put that aside. So let's say um, say the large ones, for instance. So if you wanted to do some large area um, sanding, for instance, with this one, uh, this one is the uh, the one thousand grit. So what you do basically is um, what I've been doing is put the sanding adapter into into the chuck. Make sure that's uh, that's tight, so it's not going to go anywhere. Yep, that's fine. Uh, then basically you choose uh, choose one of these. So for instance, if it was this one. Um, they're actually um, sticky backed. They are self adhesive. Um, so what you what you do is you peel off the backing paper to reveal the, the sticky back uh, of the, the other side. Um, stick it on and then pull it off. And there is your sanding head, which is actually stuck firmly to the end of your uh, your sanding pen. Now um, I've been testing these with a with a few. Um, uh, sort of sort of models, etc. Let me bring over my uh, trusty snow speeder, which uh, uh, you'll you'll see on lots and lots of my videos. Um, and let me give you a little demonstration. I'll I'll use it with this uh, large one because it'll be easier to see. So we've attached it. Let's switch it on, um, and then you can basically do any kind of sanding you would like. So this is a thousand uh, the thousand grit one. So you basically approach it just as you would any kind of sanding exercise. Um, different grits moving from you know coarse down to um, to a fine. I mean, this is obviously the finest one. Uh, so this is one I would use, say, just to finish off that that edge if I was sanding it, uh, say, manually, for instance. But you have the option of using uh, this um, uh, this electric uh, sanding uh, sanding pen. Let me switch that off. So that's that's the larger one. Um, as I said, they come in uh, four different uh, grits, and it literally is a, a change, just as if you were changing any kind of uh, uh, tool for for this sanding pen. Let me just take uh, take this one out, and let's try that again. I think I unscrewed the wrong one, which I always do. There we go. I felt that go. There you go. So that's the large one. It's exactly the same principle for the smaller one. So if you are trying to, to sand some very, very small areas, and maybe, um, like I found, um, the sanding sticks, which you know, we, we use all the time, you know, these things, um, you, you just can't get into the area. Um, at least you can't get in, um, I guess, to, to sand with any kind of, of precision. Um, it's, 
it's something you you have to sort of try and fudge a little bit depending on what you're trying to do where of course with these kinds of things you can reach in to wherever you want to sand and you can sand um with with this pen and don't forget this pen has got three speeds so it's up to you how how fast you actually uh, uh um, sand sand the area um so we tried the uh we're testing with the 1000 so let's do a let's do a much coarser uh, grit so let's go with let's go with the 400 uh, which is this one yeah that's uh, that's a 400 grit you can certainly feel that from the other side so what we do is we take the backing off the off the actual sanding pad itself attach it like that think um, the images if I pull that through that should stick on it's catching for some reason let's have a look at what's stopping that attaching to the head if I push that uh, it's, there's something catching oh I can see it it's uh it hasn't quite gone all the way through if I pull that pull that off and stick it on there you go that's nice and secure so that's the smaller head uh, which you can then use to again if you for instance if this was inside of um, a cockpit or something uh, you could reach in and start to sand off maybe some uh, some burrs or if you notice some flashing which uh, which you hadn't noticed before you can reach in and start to to do that i mean some of the it's because it's electric it kind of acts a little, a little bit like a grinder but it isn't as um this is coarse obviously because it's actually got sanding sanding sponge on the end of that I mean, i'm taking off uh some detail there using using this quite quite easily and it's not as it's not as abrasive as uh, maybe a, a a full grinding hit so i've taken that off and you can see that's that's done a brilliant job of taking that detail off if, if that's what you wanted to, to do let's just switch that off so that is um the two uh different sizes of of sanding heads which you can get for the uh the display a uh, grinding pen um it seems to me it's a, it's an interesting addition to i guess a general sanding and i'm always looking for something that i can um evolve forward um it's an interesting one for an accessory for you know for for this uh, this grinding pen. So um, have a have a look at the the the, uh, the store. Um, the, the full details of of both of these packs uh, are on there at the moment. So if you do have one of these uh, these pens, this could be an interesting accessory for for you, particularly if you're struggling to do sanding in very tight areas or you have to assemble something for uh, for priming, for instance, and maybe you you need to sand something on an interior somewhere um, or there's something on an exterior which you um, you really don't want to use a, a manual for you want to use a, an electric um, you know, sander as I say they come in uh, you know, four different uh, grits so you would be able to um, you know, clear off um, I guess fairly coarse areas if, if that's what you wanted to do and then move through you know, three or four uh, different grits to uh, to the thousand which is basically a polisher um, at the end um so that's the that's the new accessories for uh for the display um grinding pen these um uh sanding uh pads i think they're called uh, they're self-adhesive um so do check it out in the store uh, they should be um available now as you as you will watch this so until next time um speak to you soon